Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the devices view. In case if you have uh, watched and followed the reorganizing Eclipse in two minutes video, you can find your devices view right here at the bottom right corner and clicking on it will bring up the devices view. In case if you don't have the devices view here at the right bottom corner of your Eclipse setup, I'll show you how to get it. All you have to do is you have to go to window and uh, go to show view here you'll find the devices option in case if you don't find devices here move to other and under the Android category you will find devices you can select this and click on OK uh, so that's how you bring up the devices uh, view in Eclipse let's go ahead and take a look at devices the primary purpose of this view is to show you the list of connected devices. It could be emulators or real Android devices. Here I have only one emulator running on my desktop. So this is the emulator. And since we have only one emulator running currently, the devices view shows us only one device here in this list. Now I'm going to connect my Android device and let's see what happens. I've plugged in the USB cable and just now you can see we also have another item on this list which is actually a physical Android device. So this devices view is often used in combination with the LogCat. For instance, uh, let me select the emulator and if I switch over to the LogCat, I can see the logs that are a part of the emulator. And in case if I want to take a look at the logs in my Android device, I have to select my Android device and if I switch over to my LogCat, you can see I have a different set of logs which are a part of my device. Also the device view lets you do other things, other things that are really cool. One thing is it allows you to capture the screen of your device. Let me go ahead and do a screen capture on my actual device. I'm going to click on this camera icon. And you can see that uh, my devices screen is captured. I can save this by clicking on the save button and choosing a location. I can do that. Also, you can rotate the image and clicking on refresh will actually refresh the screenshot. So these are some of the things that you can do. And also it gives you access to the view hierarchy which is also a tool that is helpful while debugging user interfaces and this is not something that we are going to discuss right now. Uh, this, uh, these are the two primary purposes of using the devices panel and the devices panel also helps you to troubleshoot your Android debug bridge which I'm going to show you in an upcoming video. So there is nothing much about the devices panel it serves two primary purposes. One is it allows you to select any one of the available Android devices or emulators. And the second purpose is it allows you to take a screen capture of your device or of your emulator. That's all for now. And if you have any questions on this, please feel free to ask. Thank you.